Hello again. You saw in the video that I just had you watch that all objects near the surface of the Earth fall with the same acceleration g minus 9.8 meters per second squared. So this is yet another example of uniform acceleration, except in this case we always know the acceleration minus 9.8. So I'm just going to do a couple of examples for you and then you can practice using these equations. I've written them here for you again in your homework. So the only difference being I have now used y instead of x because we're typically talking about motion up and down because we're talking about things being thrown up or falling, falling down. So I've used y instead of x and we always know the acceleration minus 9.8. So let me work a couple of examples. Example one, good name for a first example. Suppose I throw a ball up at 12 meters a second. So here's the ground, here's a ball, and I just throw it up with some initial velocity, 12 meters per second. And I just wanna know how high does it go? So the question is, how high does it go? So I have to lay out the variables in my problem. So I see my initial velocities plus 12 meters per second plus because it's, it's going up. We're gonna let y naught equal zero here where I throw it up. It's gonna go up to some height y that I wanna know. And the other bit of information I have is that this height at its highest point, that v is zero. So we come over to my equations and I ask a how high question. That means I want to know why. Can't use that equation, it doesn't have y in it. Could use this one, it has y, but I'd have to know t, the time. I could do that, I could solve this one for t and then plug it in here, or I could perhaps just use this equation because it has y and it has v's and I know those. So let's just use that equation v squared is v naught squared plus 2a y minus y naught. We chose y naught to be zero. v at the top of the path is zero. So we just get zero is v squared plus 2ay. Solve that for y. We get minus v naught squared is 2ay or y is minus v naught squared over 2a, that's minus 12 meters per second squared over 2 times minus 9.8 meters per second squared, because we now know what a is, and this gives us a maximum height of 7.35 meters. All right, so there's our first example. I'm going to do a little more example. So example two, clever name for a second example. So this case, I'm going to throw a ball up in the air just so it falls off a cliff. So I'm going to start the ball here. I'm going to throw it up at 9 meters a second. And it's going to go up and it's going to come back down and just miss the cliff and get down here. I'm going to ask two questions about it. Um, uh, when does it hit? So the time, when does it hit? And the velocity when it hits. So let me come over here and label what I know. I'm going to let its starting point be y naught equals zero. I'm going to let v naught be plus nine meters per second. It's going to go up in the air, go up, go down. And I know the only other bit of information I know is that a is minus 9.8 meters per second squared. Oh, I have to know how high the cliff is. That's an eight meter cliff. So when does it hit? That's a time. I look at this equation as time in it. 
but I would have to know the velocity when it hits, the velocity just when it hits. Now, after it hits, the velocity is zero, but that doesn't count, so I can't plug zero in there. Um, this doesn't have time in it, so I can't use that one. So let's use this one. So we've got y is y naught plus v naught t plus one half a t squared. Now, what do I know here? Y naught is zero. And this is a case where I actually break my rule of doing my algebra before I plug in the numbers because I'm gonna get a quadratic equation and I'm gonna need a quadratic formula and it's a little tidier if I go ahead and plug the numbers in. So Y, Y is when the ball hits. So Y is the final Y, Y is minus eight because positive numbers are up, negative numbers are down. So that's minus eight is zero plus V naught T, V is nine. So this is nine T plus one half a t squared. So this is plus one half times minus 9.8 t squared or minus eight is nine t minus 4.9 t squared. The way I write quadratic equations, this is a quadratic. The way I write it, I'd like to write the leading square term as a positive. So I would write this as 4.9 t squared minus nine t minus eight equals zero and then use the quadratic formula. So you might remember that if you have an equation that says ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, then the quadratic formula says x is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac all over two a. That's the quadratic formula. I hope all that got in the screen. So I can use that formula to solve this. And I get T equals negative B. That's a negative, negative nine plus nine plus or minus the square root of B squared. That's nine squared because minus nine squared is the same as nine squared. Let me write it as minus nine squared just to help your notes. Minus four times A times c, which is minus eight, it's the square root of all of that, all over two times a. See, I keyed all that in. You can try it, make sure you get what I did. This gives me nine plus or minus 15.42 after I take the square root over 9.8. This gives me two answers. 2.49 or minus 0.655 seconds. The 2.49 is the one that's correct. Uh, the minus 0.655, sometimes I hear people say, oh, you can't have negative time. That's not negative time, that just means time before something. So that's 0.65 seconds before the ball was thrown. So indeed, it can't hit before it was thrown. That's not the, quite the same thing as saying you can't have negative time. Negative time would be time moving backwards, which is not what that meant. Nonetheless, the 2.49 is the correct answer. That's the time when it hits, 2.49 seconds after it was thrown. Now, V when it hits. What is the velocity when the ball hits? So let's use this equation. V is V naught plus AT. V sub zero is nine meters a second plus minus 9.8 meters per second squared times the time, now that we know it, 2.49 seconds. This gives me minus 15.4 meters per second. Notice it get a minus sign because it's going down when it hits. So it's going 15.4 meters per second just as an instant it hits the ground. I could have used this equation to get V. If I did, I'd have to take a square root to solve for V, and I would have to have known to put the minus sign in because the square root would not have told me I would have gotten a plus or minus, and I would have to know to put the minus sign in. But there's a couple of examples, so you will get to practice this in your homework. So hope you enjoy it. Good luck.